right guys, this is Justin with Dirt Clutch and today we're going to do the install of our upgrade kit on all of the Polaris General machines. Um, this fits all makes and models on the Polaris General. So first thing that we're going to do, um, we tip the box here just to make it a little bit easier. And this uh, duct here on the front is going to come off. It's a little hose clamp here to loosen up. It can get tucked off to the side. And then you're going to pull all these cover bolts get this clutch cover off and I've just got a couple left on here. The cover will come right off. And so this upgrade kit is for generals that already have uh, the Dura clutch installed. Um, this is just kind of a new calibration, um, a new belt, that kind of thing. So what we're going to do on this one is to pull the primary clutch off. This is the Dura clutch puller part number 25-127. We'll pull this primary clutch off. The secondary can stay on, but we are gonna pull the belt off as well. Once we have those off, we'll be able to go over to the bench and work on the primary. So this is the old belt that came off the machine. This one can get set to the side, It'll be used for a spare or something like that. Um, there's gonna be a new belt that's gonna come with the kit and then you're gonna end up with new weights and pins and a new spring for the primary. So first thing we're gonna do is take this cover off. And the old spring that comes out can go to the side. Then we're gonna pull these weights out of here. Say you're getting new hardware for these, so everything you pull out of here is gonna get put to the side. The new calibration here is going to have these black weights versus the silver ones that you had in there. Once those are all in, you can tighten those up. There's a shoulder on the weight pin that these are just going to bottom out on. Okay, and then from there, this is a new spring. It's a little bit shorter, so it's kind of easier to put in than the spring that came off. And this white tag that's on here, there's actually an X on the bottom. It's gonna line up with the X on the clutch there. And then this is actually, I'm not gonna do it here, but this comes with a new decal, Dura Clutch decal, because you just changed the part number of that primary clutch. Um, so once you have that new decal on, this is ready to be reinstalled uh, along with the new belt. Now we're back on the machine here with the new belt. Um, it's gonna be a 35-024 belt. You're gonna put it on so you can read the letters. Once you get that in there, take the belt tool here and just be able to spread this open so that belt falls down in the secondary there a little bit. We'll be able to take our new primary, slide it on the shaft like that. I'm gonna go right back on with the same hardware. To get the final torque spec on the primary clutch here, I actually use the puller and run it through the tower there and then it'll hook on something down there so that it can, can be torqued down and then like I said 60 foot pounds so once you have that on there you can start tightening down until we hit our torque spec there so it doesn't take much 60 is not that tight and it is a different torque spec compared to the stock primary clutch so you're going to want to make sure um, it's 60 foot pounds and then from there we can go ahead and start putting the cover back on. put a couple in there and once you have all those reinstalled be able to grab this vent back out just slide right back on and this part of the upgrade kit is completed well the last part of the general upgrade kit is going to be this filter um, we have a dura clutch filter that goes on the primary clutch intake tube down here so first thing we'll do is pull this hood off and then this right hand side here is the intake tube for the clutch um, this hole is not normally here. We've already done that before or pre-drilled that. So when you get your filter, um, drilling this hole out is gonna be one of the things that you need to do first. And there is a set of instructions that's gonna come with it. And then we do have a separate video on our website as well talking about this specific install. But basically once this is drilled and everything's cleaned up and ready to go, our filter is gonna slide right over that. Just like that. 
and then the hood goes back over the top um, and it's good to go. So that is the last part of the general upgrade kit install. Um, if you have questions on any of that as far as the clutch install portion of it or this filter install, there's more on our website or you can give us a call.